lot of times, uh, Garth, a lot of times uh, the all fours position, a lot of people work all fours, but sometimes when you work at all fours, you, uh, the guard is passed and like the person tries to get to the knees right, like, come back one second, he tries to go to the knees right here. The problem is the guy's going to get his back or clock choke or back mount, whatever. It's going to be something here which is going to be a lot of trouble for the guy in bottom. So what I want to do is a little drill here. The drill is going to work on your defense. Also working a drill with your partner because the all force <clears throat> recovers the guard. A lot of black belts, a lot of us do this, brown belts, the advanced guys, work the all force when replacing the guard or putting them back into the guard is not, uh, a, it's not applicable anymore. They're passing, they're controlling the legs. So the first thing here I'm going to work with, look, yeah, it's just side, uh, I'm sorry, uh, guard. So here I'm on the guard, I go to the side. So now I'm going to start right here with the side control here. <clears throat> the problem here, number one, is a lot of times people get crushed side mount. He can't push, I've got control. So the first thing you're going to do is reach the, the hand under my neck, grab the shoulder, yeah. And the first thing you do, it like, just, just push with just your hand, just your arm. You see, I can feel it, but it's not really doing anything. So when you're here, I want you to grab high on the, the shoulder trapezius, pull the collar down, and then look at your watch to get some type of pressure on the neck. You see, it's making me pull up. Right here, he's going to thread the arm right under my arm. Good. And then here, do me a favor, Carter, look up. Don't ever do this when you're escaping because they're going to get the cross face and flatten you back. So the first thing you do is look down. You see it's hard for me to cross face. Once I'm here, Carter's got his wrists, hands on my hips. The one thing, uh, Carter, keep grabbing my back with both hands. If he tries to all fours here, scooting out there, this is going to be irrelevant. Even if he tries to go for my back right here, if I go knee on stomach and come, I can get him in a choke or elbow lock or some type of position right off the bat. So this, be careful, or it might get you in a choke of a different kind. So right off the bat, you reach under, pull the collar down, raise the elbow, thread the arm under, look down, push off the hips, off the hips, off the hips. Notice right here, the feet are farthest away. Don't keep the feet up here, because any position for them to get the back, he goes, yeah, one second, I'll come back, come back further. Push that, just, just all four uh, well, I was just going to make a point about the arms. Notice he's still pushing me. He's keeping me distant, so I can't walk around and get the back. That's what this is for. From this position here, he's going to pull the elbows up to the stomach, then the knees to the elbows, right. <clears throat> From this position here, when I'm working, I'm going to sprawl here. Now, when I'm sprawling here, I like to do this type of action uh, a lot of times where it's difficult to go to the guard a lot. So in this position here, Carter's going to reach out for my right leg, both hands. And here, when he reaches out, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, go to the left leg. Let me get it. It's just for the camera. It's the other way. Here, when he's in this position, he can't take me down yet because the arms, the reach is too far. So he's going to climb closer to me. Right. There, notice he bumps a little bit to the side. He's going to step left leg out. So if he's grabbing my left leg, left leg, just way up. Step way out. Yeah, you don't have to kill yourself. So here, he tries to lift me, lift me straight up, ain't going to work. So here, what he's going to do is drag my left knee to his left knee, apply the shoulder. So here, he takes me down right away, he goes to the side mount. So here, once I go to the side mount here, one other point I didn't make is it's a good idea to block the hip here to keep him with some distance. The other thing, a lot of time, it's good to put your foot on your knee to block him here, so it's hard for him to mount. It's just, it's not going to totally stop, but it will delay. The other thing also is don't cross over like this because he can toe hold you. Yeah, you got to watch out. So just put your foot here. Don't do it this way because if you put the foot this way, he has nothing blocking him from mounting you. So remember, here, this keeps blocked. This hand, when I'm coming under, look down tight. Yeah, see, if I'm trying to reach, it's not going to work this way. So look, just wing your arm under to start putting a little pressure here. I'm going to grab the collar here, pull down, raise up, and I, look, I automatically start looking down. Push here, get to my side. I'm starting to come under, scoop, scoop, scoop here, keep the distance, elbows up, knees up, 
He sprawls from here. I'm going to reach out, get close to a lick. You don't have to get tight yet. Just reach out for it. Here, when I'm getting close, I'm going to step, pull, drive, take him down. And when I take him down, I'm going to go to the side mount. Here, he's going to reach under, thread, call control, I'll pull up, thread the arm under, scoots out, scoots out, scoots out, scoots out, all fours, elbows up, nice sprawl, he reaches for the leg, pulls in, and he's going to drill it to the side. <laughs> you see how easy he takes me down. Once he's got these positions here, we'll start the whole routine all over again. That way, we get both partners working. One key point here too, uh, look, can you go back to all fours? The one thing here, make sure, keep your head on the inside. If you pop your head on the outside here, I can still get you in a cross face. If I get the cross face on this position here, look, I like a certain takedown where I like tipping the shoulder over to boom him down. So watch out for that. The only time I really like popping the head out here is here, if you're going to get pop the head out, go ahead, step your right leg out, slide the left leg under, look up to go to the back. If you've done this drill, you know, fall back from time over time. That's the only time, otherwise you might get guillotined or cross face. And, you know, a lot of people mistake the guillotine. They think if you've done, you know, six months of jujitsu, you know all the answers. Guillotines are tough. You ever had a big, strong guy guillotine you? Shoot. It's, it's not just the pressure. It's, God dang, I can't get out of here. So you got to watch out for that. Okay, let's get a partner. Let's get